Hi everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Gigabyte Z370 Ultra Gaming. Ultra Gaming VRM Gate. So I have already given you a hint about something that we are going to be talking about with this today and I do want to clear up a few things first. As soon as I noticed this was going on, I contacted Gigabyte straight away. It's just the normal kind of set of procedure. And um, every kind of bit of correspondence that I've had with them about this has hinted that it's not just my board. So we're gonna leave that. Now, the board itself is actually quite pretty board. There's uh, it's lots of red, uh, sorry, lots of black on there. You can see in the, the kind of B-roll stuff that the lights on there are red, and that is the color that it will go to um, uh, when you kind of get it running out of the box. You need to install the Gigabyte software to be able to change it, and then all of those are RGB, and there are different zones as well, so you can have different bits, different colors, should you wish. Layout of the board's kind of good, and the cooling did look like it was going to be good as well, because you've got two sets of uh, MOSFET heat sinks in the top left-hand corner of the board. It was all kind of standard-looking hardware. Now, when I did do the um, performance testing, a lot of the results were kind of coming out a bit mediocre. At stock, on some stuff, it really wasn't great. You can go to the OC3D website, by the way, and go and have a look at all of our results throughout this, both in stock and overclocked. Now, I did manage to get five gigahertz out of the 8700K six core, which was on par with the other boards, but the scores still weren't quite there. Now, they, they, when we, the way we test means that we can graph it and see a difference. Now, the, the, the differences may only be minor in the grand scheme of things, but at the end of the day, when you're trying to formulate an opinion about you know um, products which are essentially quite similar, those few numbers can make a big difference. But really the problem with this board wasn't necessarily even the you know mid-range you know performance. It really came when I started to do my testing with the like full blown load. Now at you know stock um, running the 8700K, the VRMs on this were getting as hot at stock as the VRMs on the MSI Godlike were getting with a five gigahertz overclock. So they were both, well, these were actually a bit warmer. This was over 80 degrees. The MSI would have been about 79. So straight away, I knew we had, you know, something wasn't quite right. So I was looking to see what voltages were going through and all kinds of stuff. And it was really only the left hand uh, MOSFET heatsink on the board I was having issues with. Top one, getting warm, not hot. Left hand, hot. Um, but when I got the overclock into play, it was literally like about, it was over 100 degrees. So there was over 20 degrees difference on the VRM swing one board to another. Now the Godlike is just the one that I'm kind of plucking out for you. Um, and I, it is an incredibly expensive board and it does have more phases, but I don't think that's really the issue because I didn't get temperatures this high or anywhere near this high, even with like the lower end boards like the Z370A from Asus. So I've done, you know, a lot of other boards and yeah, they just didn't get that hot. And the other thing that I was kind of a bit unhappy about was when talking to Gigabyte about it, they kind of said, well, if it's not throttling, what's the problem? The, the VRMs are rated for a lot hotter than they are getting to the point where I was like, look, if you haven't got an answer for me, then I'm not waiting around any longer. People need to know this. So what do you need to know, people? What you need to know is at stock, just building your system, your VRMs, if you put it under, you don't even need to use AVX load, but let's say you were doing a massive blender run. Your VRMs are going to get to 80 degrees, just running stock. Admittedly, with the stock, you could turn the volts down because on auto, all boards are gonna be putting too much, um, uh, too many volts through, so you could turn it back. 
and you'd probably be all right. <clears throat> And then uh, if you were to overclock, and let's face it, most of us, if we're going to be buying this level of kit, are going to want to. Um, if you manually overclock it, your VRM's, VRM's going to get really hot. So over 100 degrees. How they didn't start throttling, I don't know. They have probably, and this is the other thing that you guys at home may not understand, is the VRM's do not set the limit that they throttle. The board and the BIOS does. So the, all Gigabyte have to do is set the uh, VRM um, throttling point 10 degrees higher than they think the VRM is going to get and it won't throttle and let's face it 99.9% .9 of you guys out there at home would never even know that they were getting that hot. Do you have hardware info? Is this something you keep an eye on? Do you go to this level when you build yourself a system? I know a lot of you will be saying yes but most of you out there now will be going no that's what we watch your videos for. So it, it, it wasn't right. And then that's without talking about the fact that they've got this really annoying bit of um, um, sort of like software stuff in the BIOS where if it's not happy with your memory clock, it, it, it lowers it. But the problem is, is you can restart your system. And if you, I've got 3866 memory in this at the moment. I um, can get it running 3866 if I do it manually, by the way, but I can start it up and one boot, it will do 3466. The next boot is doing 3700. The next boot, it's doing 3333. It, there is n n nothing about it. And literally you can do that with restarts. So the BIOS needs a lot of work. The, um, the, and by the BIOS means a lot of work because even the cash levels are lower than the competition. I know a lot of the competition are running higher cash levels, but if you run higher cash levels, yes, it does benchmark better, but that's their job. If they can get it to run better, that's it. But it also makes your overclocking more difficult. So I think they might be running lower cash levels on this to try and make the CPU overclocking better, but then that memory thing combined with the lower cash thing is just making the memory result on this look horrendous um, and then even though they've managed to find a way to get the CPU to overclock better by hampering all the memory performance the VRMs then can't really keep up now I don't think that the cooling is at fault because the heat sinks are plenty big enough um, if you um, uh, put fans and stuff over it, I mean, why would you want to even in a system like this? We're not going for world records. It should just work. And I like I said, I don't think the size of the heat sinks are at fault here. It could be something down to VRM switching frequency. It could be something technical like that, but it also could be that the VRMs just aren't that good. And I genuinely am not sure which. All I know is if you are looking at me now to say, should I buy this board? If you want to manually overclock it, I probably wouldn't. No, I'd go and look at one of the others. The, uh, the Gigabyte Gaming 7 is a, compared to this, is a much, much better board. And there's just something not quite right about this at the moment. And I'd rather be able to tell you what it was, or I'd rather be enthusiastic that it's something really minor. But the problem is, is as I've said, with the correspondence that I've had with Gigabyte about it, th they kind of just go quiet all the time. And the problem is, with a person like me that then overthinks that, it's just like, you're not telling me everything that's going on. So, um, you know, I am kind of chucking my toys out the pram about it. But like I said, if you're going to manually overclock it, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't bother. VRMs that hot for too long. And it, okay, in games and normal use, they are never, ever going to get that hot. But even with a stock CPU, they're getting as hot as other boards are doing with a, the maximum overclock going on. So something isn't quite right somewhere. And to be honest with you, I've waited long enough because it's been well over, a, it's, it's longer than a week. God. Yeah, we're like, we could it be even at the two week mark now and I've still not even really got anywhere with trying to, you know, um, you know, correspondence with them. It's just, it's just gone all a bit quiet. So the long and short of it is, it's not that great as it is at the moment. Now I don't know whether it will be a BIOS fix, I don't know whether it's a hardware fix. All I do know is, as it arrived to me, it's definitely not 
Right, so maybe go and look, like I said, at the Gaming 7 if you, if you want a gigabyte board. There are obviously other options out there. Um, if you have bought it already, if you're not going to manually overclock, start working your CPU voltages back because that will help with your VRM temps greatly. The, 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 temp, the voltages that the board will be putting through itself, as with all brands, will be higher than the CPU actually needs because they make profiles up for probably the worst CPU on the planet. Um, so you will be able to go into the BIOS and manually start turning it down a little bit. And all you have to do is turn it down a little bit, F10, save, go to Windows, run some benchmarks, whatever you want. I use OCCT in Limpack mode. Make sure you tick the uh, all logical cores if you've got like the 8700K, for example. If it passes 30 minutes of that, go back to the BIOS, turn the voltage down a little bit again. And you keep kind of running that until you find a point where it's not happy anymore and it's starting to throw up errors or it's unstable. And then you go back to the last safe, safe point. And then that's all you've got to do. You've uh, undervolted your CPU and your temperatures, I promise you, will come down. Um, so that's just something if you have already got it, that's just me kind of trying to help. It will help you get more confident with your system in the long run as well. But yeah, that's my, that's my thoughts on that. No award.